Hey, honey, has your mother called you yet today? Only about a thousand times already. She has some pretty big plans for our wedding, doesn't she? She's already texted me 20 times today. Every time I look at my phone, there's a new pic of a dress or a cupcake or limo. I don't want a limo. She's been planning my wedding since the day I was born, I think. My sister, too. At least she had the good sense to elope in California. Maybe that's what we should do. Are we the eloping type? Aren't we too safe for that? I don't know how safe we'll be doing it within a hundred mile radius of your mother. I wish she wasn't like this. Controlling? Stubborn? Arrogant? Yes, all of the above. Petty? Domineering? Narcissistic? All right, we get the point. You know what my mother says? When you marry someone, you're also marrying their family. Heard it all my life. And yet you still somehow ended up with me. And I'm so glad I did. You're everything to me. You're my world. You're the only person I ever want to be with for the rest of my life. But your mother... She'll be different when we're married, I promise. She'll have to respect the boundaries of our marriage. Oh, you think so? And how do you propose that? I'll just stand up to her, finally. I'm sorry, babe, but you've been saying that for a long time. I know, but she's scary. Tom, if you're going to be my husband, you're going to have to stand up for me. For us. To whoever it is, even your own mother. So what should I tell her, that we don't want her and dad to come? Grandma will love that. No, just tell her we appreciate all of the help and suggestions and million texts a day. But trust us, we've got this. Um, think maybe you should do it? Why? She's your mother. It's not like she's all warm and cuddly to me. Ugh, fine, I'll talk to her. Just be firm, be strong. Easy for you to say she's not your mother. I swear, sometimes I feel like a cowering dog around her. I have no idea what she's capable of. Your mother is a very strong-willed woman. And my dad, he's her doormat. Promise me we'll never turn into them. I promise, but it means standing up to her now before it's too late. She wants the bridesmaids to wear red, Tom. I better call her as soon as I can then, right? Red, Tom, red. Leslie, dear, where have you been? You know we only have three more days to pick up the invitations. Hi, Debbie. Yes, I know. I've been pretty busy with work. And Bungle's had to go to the vet a lot lately. I'm sure she's fine. He. Right, well, whatever. I never allowed animals in the house when Tommy was a boy. All the children begged and pleaded for a dog. My husband, too. But I put my foot down. No filthy animals in my house. No thank you. We keep him quite clean. Oh, I'm sure you try, darling. But you can't possibly get every little piece of filth out of them. Well, anyway, I'm kind of busy right now, Debbie. Busy right now? Mom, you mean. Right. Mom. And what could you be so busy with? You've been ignoring the wedding. You realize we only have a year left to go, right? I realize this. No offense, dear, but have you always been such a procrastinator? I can't imagine you can get in all of your deadlines on time if this is how you act there. If you didn't text me quite as much, I could make those deadlines. Oh, right, my son mentioned something about that to me. You don't want your dear future mother-in-law sending you her genius ideas anymore? A few are fine, it's just a lot. Well, what can I say? I'm a creative person. I'm an artist, really. Did you know I was a painter in college? No, I didn't. That's actually pretty shocking. Oh, yes, I loved all those artist types. So free-spirited and alive. But they had no drive, no ambition. I knew they'd all be poor their entire lives. That's why I married Tom's father. I think I've heard this story once or twice. He was a business major, and I was dating some artist type at the time. It took just one look at his car for me to make up my mind. That's why I always discouraged Tom's little hobbies. They weren't aren't just hobbies. Photography was his life. At least it was until you scared him away from it. Maybe you'll understand when you're a little older, dear, but there's no money in following your heart. Well, money isn't everything. No, it's all things. <laughs> but seriously, you know money is no object with us. I have a blank check already signed just waiting for you. That's a lot of pressure, Debbie. His wedding is going to be bigger and better than any of my friend's sons. Wow, okay, let's just take a breath. It'll put that Johnson wedding to shame. Do you remember that wedding? Oh, of course you weren't. It was just Tom who was invited, not you. 
No, I'm pretty sure I just had to work that day. On what? The little art projects? I make jewelry. I have my own online business. I think you're aware of this. Oh, I'm just joking, dear. But seriously, I'm just so grateful my son has such a great job. If it was just your little lemonade stand supporting him, he'd be out on the street. I forgot. Debbie, what did you do again? Back when you worked? Or did you ever work? Well, I didn't have to work, dear. Haven't you been paying attention? Listen, maybe if you wait a little longer, Tom will get that big promotion. Then you can finally quit that little thing. It's my art, my passion. Why would I want to quit it just because of money? Well, why else, darling? Oh, you're so silly sometimes. I told my friend Shelly she's going to look so beautiful coming down that aisle, but she doesn't have half a brain in that head. Oh, right, Shelly. Is she the one that's had, like, ten facelifts? Leslie, rich women can afford not to age. If Tom decides to keep you around, heaven forbid, you'll find that out one day. What does that mean? I'm saying I give your marriage six months, a year tops. How could you say that about your own son? Well, if you don't like that, then you really won't like this. Me and the girls even took bets on it. You're disgusting. I figured if the ship's going to sink, might as well have a great time first. How much did you bet? Oh, not much, just a friendly wager. For or against us? Oh, silly, what do you think? I have a general idea. So I can't stress this enough, hun. We must pick up the invitations as soon as possible. Fine, fine, I'll do it tomorrow. Great, pick you up at nine. What? Uh, no! I mean, that's okay, I can do it alone. Nonsense, it'll be fun. We'll make a girl's day out of it. A girl's day with you? But with who else? We can get our nails done, go shopping, maybe get a massage. How about that, Leslie? Wouldn't you just love to get a massage? On me, of course. I'm sorry, I'm just a farm girl from the middle of nowhere. I guess I'm just not used to all this pampering. Oh, it'll be fun. It'll give us a chance to get to know each other a little better. Oh, great. Oh, oh, I know. We could plan the honeymoon together. Oh, we weren't really even thinking that far ahead yet, like, at all. No, dear, my friend Tina is a travel agent. And she says these resort vacation deals get booked months, sometimes years in advance. If we're going to get you into the most expensive hotel in the Bahamas, we better act fast. Debbie, Tom hates the water. Your son hates the ocean. How do you not know that? Oh, just give him a few days. He'll get used to it. But didn't he almost drown when he was a boy? Oh, the stupid child was playing at the end of the dock, where he knew he wasn't supposed to be. How could we have seen him? We were boarding the yacht. Well, he's still traumatized by it. When I met him, he couldn't even take baths. Oh, that is so ridiculous. What a big baby. Well, listen, I have to get back to work. Right, the arts and crafts. Then I'll pick you up at nine sharp. We'll have girl time. Right, great. See you then. Tom, I'm going crazy over here. I'm pulling my hair out. Oh, no. Now what, Mom again? What do you think? Every time I talk to her, she's got crazier and crazier ideas. And the bigger this wedding gets, the higher my anxiety gets. And sometimes, I don't know. You don't know what, Leslie? I mean, I don't know if we should even get married at all. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. I don't know. I love you, and I want to be with you. But... Is this what it's going to be like? I know, I know. And she didn't start acting this way until after we got engaged. I know, babe, I'm sorry. And after I asked you to talk to her, things only got worse. When you asked me to... Like six months ago, remember? When she wouldn't stop sending the pictures? Instead, she just doubled down. Lunch dates and shopping. I can't take it anymore. Oh, right. You did talk to her, right? Um... I think so, uh, yeah. You think so, or you know so? I'll be honest, neither. Tom! I'm sorry, I forgot. You didn't forget, you're just a grown man who's scared to death of his mother. And now it's putting your relationship at stake. Well, you're scared of her too. Ha! <laughs> In her wildest dreams, she thinks she's intimidating? Well, she hasn't seen what I'm capable of. That's what I love about you, you're so much stronger than me. You're stronger than you think, you just have to find it. She's not going to listen to me, certainly not to your dad. 
My poor dad. He's a beaten man. I can't blame him. So how is the planning going? I'm sorry I haven't been doing more to help. I understand. You've just been so busy at work. And I guess I thought my mother wouldn't be this terrible. Well, boy, were you wrong. Do you remember my friend Steve from college? My old roommate you met that one time? Yeah, the, the short guy. He's not that short. Well, anyway, his wife and him just went down to the courthouse one day. They got the whole thing over in an afternoon. How romantic. It has to be more romantic than having my mother running the show. I don't think I've ever asked you what kind of wedding you want to have. Well, shouldn't it be up to the bride? Not necessarily. I think it should be equal. There's two people here, right? It's a two-way street. My biggest preference? One without my mother. Speaking of, look who's texting me. Oh, no. Leslie, dear, do you know what day it is? Um, Tuesday? It's the 5th. That means it's officially six months to the date. Oh, yeah, right. I hadn't looked at my calendar today. And still so much to do. Now, the seating chart, have you finished it? Yeah, last night, actually. Well, I'll have to look it over before I approve. You approve? The, the wedding planner said it was fine to let me pick. Oh, that's ridiculous. So silly. That woman is ridiculous. She thinks the bride should have a choice in everything. She shouldn't? Isn't it kind of her day? Exactly why she should let others make all the choices for her. So she can just focus on being pretty and most of all, being quiet. Wow, I think some of your ideas are a little old-fashioned. Children today are just too indecisive. They need adults like me to make decisions for them sometimes. Except I'm not a child and neither is your son. Oh, believe me, he acts like it sometimes. You'll figure that out if you hadn't already. Well, have you smelled his socks? What? Uh, no, I cannot say I have or will. Smell them sometime. Awful. He needs a strong woman to take care of him. Hopefully he'll get one someday. <laughs> You never fail to amuse yourself, do you? Well, it is rather funny, isn't it? A girl who stays at home all day marrying my son. You know I have my own business. I've told you many times. Oh, right, I forgot again. Sorry. Debbie, can I ask you a question? Well, sure, hon. What seems to be on that pretty little mind of yours? Well, Tom told me something interesting about his dad the other day. Oh, what did he tell you? He said once when he was a kid, you were yelling at his dad so much... He crashed the car into a tree, and he hasn't been the same since. What? Oh, that is nonsense. The brakes went out. It was an old car I told him to get rid of several times. He was always forgetful. Just like his son, it had nothing to do with the accident. So you weren't verbally abusing him in the car? Verbal abuse? Oh, listen to you. Where did you learn that? College? My husband knew what I expected, and when he forgot, I let him know it. That's all. So much so that he crashed into a tree? I said it had nothing to do with it! Are you sure it wasn't on purpose? Well, now you've just gone and offended me! I'm sorry, that was, that was out of line. I tried too hard to make everyone so happy! And to make sure my son and his beautiful bride have the wedding of their dreams! And all I get for it is cruelty! Debbie, I'm sorry. You aren't crying, are you? No! Are you sure? Oh, shut up! Now listen, we have got to have that seating chart ready. If you don't have it done, I... I don't know what I'm capable of. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Just finish the seating chart, Leslie! All right, all right, I'll have it done. I really think you should see someone. Oh, I'm so over men. My last boyfriend broke up with me when he realized I wasn't going to give him any money. I mean, like, someone professionally. Like a psychiatrist? Ha! <laughs> If I had a dollar for every time someone's told me that, I'd be, well, richer than I already am. Bye, dear. Bye, Debbie. Leslie? Leslie, where the hell are you? Tom and I had a big fight. Now he isn't answering any of my calls or texts. Have you talked to him? As a matter of fact, I have. Well, where is he? He's standing right here next to me, actually. Well, where are you? Are you not aware we're supposed to have the dress rehearsal in three hours? I think if you show up, you'll be rehearsing alone. What do you mean? Is it that hard to figure out? There won't be anyone else there. We called it off. You called off the wedding? That's right. 
Well, it's about time my son came to his senses and dumped you to the curb like the trash you are. I always told him, marry a girl from the wrong side of the tracks, you'll live to regret it. I almost disowned him when he told me he'd proposed. Oh, is that how you've always felt about me? And more, I just loved my son too much to say it. Well, I heard that you told him plenty. I couldn't keep everything in, I couldn't let him go through with it. Go through with what? The wedding, that's why I've been so mean to you. So finally he'd see what a weak little poor girl you are. I just wanted to wear you down. Oh, you wore us down, all right. Us? What us? There's no us anymore, remember, sweetheart? He's all mine again. I'll let him tell you. What? Uh, hello? Hey, Mom, it it's Tom. Look, uh, I love Leslie, and she loves me, and we're getting married. Actually, we already have. We just got done down at the courthouse, actually. Young man, you better be kidding! Is this a joke? Tell me this is a joke! Oh, hey, Mom-in-law, it's your daughter-in-law, and no joke, it's all been taken care of. No ceremony, no reception, just us and Judge Judy. You've betrayed me! You've betrayed our whole family! Well, we have our own family now. How dare you! All that planning for nothing! What are my friends going to say about me? That you're a horrible mother and your son would rather get married downtown than have you there. He did not say that! No, he didn't. He's not cruel like you. Well, thankfully, he takes after his father, except now he stands up for himself. I want the deposits back right now, the catering, the venue, every last one. Well, uh, here's the thing, Debbie. We thought that you wanted us to have the best wedding possible. And since we aren't going to have that, we decided to go big on the honeymoon instead. With my money? A month in Europe. What? It's going to be great. Well, uh, it's not too late. I can still get a refund. Actually, we're heading to the airport right now. Our plane leaves in an hour. Thank you so much, though. You've been there, right? Yes, many times. Oh, anything you can recommend? How about I recommend this? I will make your life a living hell from now on, Missy. You married my son, so now you've married his whole family. I will make it my life's mission to get even with you for this. Face it, I outplayed you, Mom. Don't start that cute little mom crap with me. You will call me by name only. In fact, don't call me at all. I knew Tom would live to regret the day he met you. Tom has a big smile on his face right now. He's looking at the cafes in Paris he wants to try. Paris? Well, toodaloo, Mom. See you when we get back. Well, maybe. After a luxurious month-long tour of Europe full of amazing meals and beautiful sights, Tom and I finally made it home, more in love than we'd ever been. He has still not spoken to Debbie, who, despite her threats, never reported us to her credit card company for diverting our wedding funds. Tom finally proved to her, and to himself, that he was strong enough to stand up to her once and for all.